Oh my god. <coughs> Crazy. <coughs> Incredible. You guys ready? I think I'm done with the coffee. Excuse me. I'm a little bit cold. Yeah, I need something. Hold on a minute. Waiting for the Celtics. <laughs> Silly. Very. <laughs> Very silly. Uh, I don't think there's anything we can do to fix this. <laughs> it's just <clears throat> really... The heck? There is something wrong with this camera. I don't know. It's not from Amazon, it's from Christian. <laughs> Can we just sort of live with it? My face looking like... Is that what you're trying to complain about? <laughs> All right. Is that what you're trying to complain about? People don't really trust the camera. I don't blame you. <clears throat> yeah, my face looks different all the time. Yeah, no, I mean, I have makeup on, but I don't know. What is the matter? Is it that? You want to talk about makeup? It feels like... Right, I'm in the movie Sunshine. <laughs> We're trying to restart the sun. <coughs> it's a person that doesn't work. <laughs> Let's get to playing video games. How long is this going to last for? Sneaky. Look at that. Why does it do that? Who frickin' knows? <sighs> tired, tired, tired. Oh, whoops. Uh, yeah, my background changed. <laughs> so, right, we're going to just work on the, what is it called? Promotion. I don't know why he's over there. He... <coughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Why does it matter? How funny this is. Yeah. It's good. I think. Two lumber going to birth two. Two paper. Don't try to memorize anything. Where's the paper? It's those. Right? Let's make sure. So we made a mistake last time. Yeah, thanks. Oops. Oh shit. Felix! <laughs> How many barbecue sauce? Felix, do you think I'm a truck driver? Three. Three of those he needs. That's his name. His name is Felix. That's his name. Is there a reason? What is the matter? I don't know why I do that. It just feels better. It's not a it's not real. See, no, I already worked up to yes. It didn't save my it didn't save my game. I didn't save my game. <clears throat> I didn't save my game. Hmm. 
Wait, to where? Is all of it? Yes. <laughs> this is really funny. Okay, very. I never went that good before. <sighs> Sneaky Sasquatch. Probably not. What happened? <laughs> what happened? Yay! I already did this this morning, but I don't know what happened. Something happened. I need to speak with you for a moment. I hear you've been working circles around my other guys. I can't have my best driver held back by limitations, so I've arranged for another upgrade. Let's see what you can do with the new speed. I want to really be impressed. Phew, I'm exhausted. I really need to hire a junior supervisor if I could only find someone with enough experience. A qualified candidate would need to have a lot of hands-on experience in all the jobs around here. Oh well, I'd better get back to it. Keep up the good work. Ready to work. Let's see what kind of jobs we have in schedule today. So we could either load the ship or load the ship. We should load the ship. Okay. <laughs> really. Whatever, you can ask me for whatever, Michael. I just won't eat copper. <laughs> Don't ask me to eat copper. <laughs> Please don't ask me to eat copper. I think there is copper in some foods. Isn't there? Oh my god, those fucking... And chores. I just kept drinking them and drinking them. Oh my god. I was drinking so many fucking and chores.
Oh, I really hate this. I really should be doing this in my own time. The crane. Yeah. Because it's better on mobile. didn't save my progress, so I don't know how I'm supposed to drop it. Did you pick it up again? <laughs> you did. We got it. We can do the night shift. Yes. Oops. Let's see how far we are. Ugh. And patrol the area once in a while. If anything happens, just make sure to write an incident report. I'll be in the break room. If you need me. <laughs> Turn down for what? He has four fingers. The monkey from Paris, yeah. <laughs> he would be snoring too, huh? <laughs> uh, three. Nobody came from the air. <sighs> Three, warehouse B. Please wait, warehouse B. Let's go check it out. Oh, it doesn't look like. He's asleep. Oops, I was just leaving. Cargo. See? <sighs> I 
Okay, so now we have this bit of water. So, this kind of thing. Where has the thank you? He came from <laughs> he <coughs> Steve <coughs> Steve <coughs> Steve the guy who wears all the turtlenecks where do you <laughs> where do you think he came from? <laughs> the guy with the turtlenecks where <laughs> If this is over, let's see how it went. <coughs> I've been reviewing the footage from a shift. I have some concerns. I'm looking at an incident report you wrote and I can't believe what I'm seeing. I mean, come on, cargo stolen, really? Uh, should, we're not getting paid. I don't know how. Okay, so next time we see that happen... We're going to just ignore it. That didn't work last time. Let's rush to work. Okay, so he has a meeting at 10, and then he has to sign things. He should probably eat. What? We went shopping. I 
really think he doesn't want to make a new game. I think that's his problem. This is a really cute game. <laughs> Little people are really cute. <laughs> oh my god, it's funny. I wonder why. He's gotta be up there anyway. You're not Donald. Oh, you are. <clears throat> look, look at look at watch them. They all get up at the same time. No, they get up like immediately at the same time. Immediately, they get up exactly at the same time. It's very funny. <laughs> They're little lo Lego people. The low-hanging fruits. <laughs> so what are we going to do about the low-hanging fruits? <laughs> I'd like to hear more about that later. I want to discuss making our corporate logo bigger. I'll follow up on that. <laughs> They're little rascals. Is a little hanging fruit going to impact our bottom line? Impact? Is that mission critical to what we do here? <laughs> They're looking cartoon. <laughs> They're like little kids. Didn't we cover the little hanging fruits yesterday? <laughs> Let's take that offline. Can we make it work on multiple levels? Oh my god, do people talk like this at work? <laughs> do we need Cartoon to sign off to move ahead on this? Guy Jr. was talking about that the other day. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> it's really cute! The game. It's really cute. <laughs> I don't know why. It's because it's all the coon girls. <laughs> They're all wearing it. No. Smiling. <laughs> I think so, yeah. Oh, yeah. Congratulations to you and Brad. Hey. Really silly. <coughs> <laughs> Little Lego people. Oh my god. Help, oh, computer not working. Old Rick. Gert and Old Rick. <laughs> what a funny, funny game. <laughs> what a 
sorry about this, but I don't really close that. I think it's over here. Fabric? Where's the flick? It's not him. Oh, wait. Oops. Do I need coffee? Can you guys still see me? He's making the big bucks. Are you ever good at computers? Oh, well, right, you're making the big bucks. Let's see here. So. <sighs> I don't prioritize the food runs because it costs him money and also. It costs some money. Yeah. So who? Oh, Billiam Jr. and three. Who else? I'm so sweet. I think it's old Billiam Jr. Three and four. Yeah. Except if we're on level four, we might as well. Yeah. I think Kurt is right there. happened.
I think I do, but I'm not certain. Oh, right. You need help with your computer. Thank you. Where am I going to plug in all of my other electronics? Sigh. Okay, well, if we've already finished most of our responsibilities, let's stay until about five o'clock or six. There might not be any more mail. Can you guys see me? I'll try to- oh. oh no, there isn't any more mail. I'll try to keep the- the- my god? The camera over here so that way I can sit up straight. <coughs> it's going to be an automated message saying that they don't have any more work to do. Everything's finished for the day. So. <sighs> it's what time? Four? Okay, well. He could drive over to his other job. Was that? Oh, I should really sit like that. I am Julia Child. I'm Julia Child. <laughs> I'm not really French, right, Jock? <laughs> Why would I want to be? Me and my fucking cigarettes. <laughs> Working on the fucking crane. <laughs> Alright, let's see, what have we got here? Are we working the forklift, or are we going to work on... Um, the crane, let's work the forklifts because work the forklifts? Try to. They're gonna load. Forklift. I really wanted to read that, Russell. You didn't need to click it, but we're gonna have to just figure out what's going on. We're going to warehouse C. We're loading. Everything is coming from Warehouse C. We need three coal. I'm Keisha Cole. Oh my god. Do you guys remember? There's this Keisha Cole song that they always used to play at the Electric Blue. <laughs> I'm so fucking white and poor. <laughs> <laughs> it's really, really funny. I think this is supposed to go to birth one. I thought that we'd figure it out. Yeah. But, no. Oh. It's gotta come from the birth board.
Okay, one more. We should drop off two at a time when we can. Okay, a coal and a copper. Let's bring one coal and one copper. There we go, let's get that one. They are laughing really hard, Negan's wife. <coughs> they are laughing at Negan's wife. Two poles. <laughs> Two pulp. Three more copper. Can you stack these at all? I don't think so. Why does it seem like that's not enough? <laughs> Why is he burning so much rubber? I don't know. Because he's trying to say yes. No. The economy. <laughs> Three copper. People are really inefficient. Oh my god, Joel, Brian Bold. It is really crazy. <coughs> Oh my god. Okay, now, okay, right, how many times do we need to, uh, fill up a whole bar of, please. Yep, we're here for the night shift. Yep. Why is it only raining in screen two? I thought it only rained in three. Hey guys. <laughs> <coughs> it's actually somebody peeing from the sky. Okay, there's something going on. It's five. Warehouse B and warehouse six. I'm hungry for a snack. <laughs> what? Warehouse B and warehouse six? What did he say? 
Oh my god. Is it a stolen cargo? What is it? I think we're supposed to- right. What did we say we were gonna do? Just put trespassing. Cause he didn't steal a whole cargo. Let's see what she says this time. Let's see what she says this time. Just put trespassing. It was five and six, right? Yeah. Just put... Put? Isn't that a... Uh, just put trespassing. Warehouse B. Pretty certain it's B. I'm surprised it's not C. Okay, she, right. She's gonna really piss me off if she says that something was stolen. Because we said that last time. She said that nothing was stolen. I mean. <laughs> B and five. B and five. <laughs> that says A. You know, it's incredible that I didn't do things like this before. It's amazing. I mean, yes. Oh, the only time <laughs> I was petting Sarah, uh, Sarah Erickson's cat, Sarah Erickson, their family cat, his name was Scout. Scout is cute, long-haired cat. <coughs> and when I was petting the cat, I said, "I love you, Scout." I didn't say, "I didn't say Scout." I said, "I think I said Scott, her husband's name." <laughs> and I was like, "Huh." Johnny in this fucking mirror. He is fucking it. The mirror. <laughs> Let's see what she says. Concerns. Fail to report a very serious cargo stolen. No. No. Yeah, exactly. You. You. You don't want him to get. You don't want him to have a promotion. That's your problem. She's just making shit up. Because that's what people do. They know that. They know that people are that. <laughs> they know that people are that. Uh, right, like Johnny's dad. They're that. Um, they're that impossible. Some people. And how much worse are people than others? So is there a degree of impossible? <laughs> you know? Is that a thing? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> how, how messed up are some of these people? Have some of you ever changed in the elevator? <laughs> On the way to work. He's running too. Let's see where he's going. Another day. Huh. Okay. 
Oh. So. What is that at? <coughs> Watch, watch them. They all get up at the same time. See? <laughs> it's like, right, they're, yes, they're like, they, they, it's a small world animatronic. <laughs> it's a small world after all. Jazz up. The optics. <laughs> oh my god, Desiree. <laughs> Desiree. I mean, what are you guys that study all of these things? What are you thinking about all of this? I mean, <laughs> it must clarify everything. I mean, how much now just seems like How much of it seems like, wow, I'm surprised I didn't expect that or something, you know? I was going, I was going to say that over and over that, yeah, it probably felt like there was no answer, that you had to find it. Yeah, like bad parents. Yeah. Like there were bad parents. I sound awful. I sound awful. It's just these, these phrases that people work, that people work, these phrases that people use in the workplace. That sound really bad. They sound really Bobby. And, right, we don't realize that they annoy us. We don't pay attention to how much they annoy us. Because their words, they're so necessary. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Did you guys see something else? <coughs> I don't know. They probably understand him better than I do. <coughs> they probably understand the way he behaves much more than me. <laughs> 
Holy yeah. Oh, babe. <sighs> the guy who was supposed to be human. Donald. There you are. Oh, he's trying to make me think of my mom. Yeah. Oh my god. How she pr Honey, do for me. Exactly. <laughs> because she can't do anything. <laughs> it's piling up. It's piling up. Oh, Bobette. My mom. Unbelievable. Old Bobette, who? Old Bobette, Gurvy Jr., and Bonald. One? Right? No. Gurvy Jr. Okay, three. Three, four. Three, four, and five. Okay, and where are we? We're on two, right? That's fun.
Skirt Junior. It's here. That's where we are. Tyler Sasquatch was wondering if you could sign off on this for me. Okay. Sorry, decrease. It hurt. Wait for Bobby's birthday, a new chair for Bobby. That's fine. I don't think there's any more mail. <sighs> he really does not want us to find a new game, does he? <coughs> okay, well, it's three o'clock. And I think he can go into his other job. I wonder if they're going to... bring ranger danger. They do that all the time. They always take them away because... I'm just one of us. How did you work? flower going to birth one. Is that flower? Yeah. Oh, it is. Is it? Yeah, let's, let's take this one. Bring it over here. No, that's a kingdom suit.
For dog food. It's trying to remind me of all the things. <laughs> do kids do that a lot? One time I put water in my cat's food. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Alex. I was a little kid. I was really small. Oh my god, and my mom and my stepdad were terrible to my cat. Well, it's because they're Vietnamese. They don't know how to take care of pets. Or anybody. <laughs> Can't even take care of themselves. <laughs> Which is why. Is it over here? No. <laughs> it's fast and furious. I guess that like, explains, it explains Bochicha, how I had to give her up. Yeah. Oh, I didn't. They fixed her because I'm not a doctor. I mean, she needed, right, she needed, uh, She needed a uh, antibiotic. Whether or not it actually helped her, who knows? I mean, no, but it is better than dry food, right? <laughs> I think a lot of kids might do that. There he is. Three. Looking for the manhole.
You have to find a warehouse B. So what happened last time? Warehouse B. Where's my copper? Trespassing. Oh, he is living there. <laughs> there are some cans. <laughs> he had a sleeping bag. Yeah. It's very hard to get into the door. Just right trespassing. I didn't see anything stolen. A sleeping bag. ABC is a sentence. He wants to say it's a question for common. He's not a comma. <laughs> he shouldn't have to be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a V, see? Let's see what she says. Uh, she does not want to give us this promotion. Oh. There's his car. Actually, before we go to battle, let's make sure he changes his clothes so we don't forget. Every time he stands in the corner, I think of my nephew Hudson.
What's the matter? I'm just thinking about the uh, the controls of the game. Old William Jr. Two. And three. Bob is over here. Pizza and just drive it knows that it's pizza. <laughs> uh, we need to go to four or five. Yes. Don't go anywhere. Huh? Who? Irving Ulrich Bobrick Jr. Oh. 
Always something to do, huh, guys? Yeah. Always something to do. That meeting is at one. Oh. He has to find paperwork. Why did I buy <laughs> Why did I buy a glass kettle from the thrift store? Fuck it, who's gonna come running in here? Right at one. Vacation day we want a buddy my birthday is a big junior. The kids, the best kids. I don't even think he knows any of those people. It's one o'clock. <sighs> Emily, I don't think he knows any of those people. <laughs> it's a video game. Clearly tired. Uh oh, no, I didn't go to level two. <coughs> what happened? No! <laughs> we still have a little bit more time. They should tell you what floor they're on so that you don't have to open up the frickin' book. I think it's you. Uh, I think it's over here. It's him. Yeah. Very tired. Oops.
I don't know, just saying what they're doing. So, we could load the ship. I think that would be a good idea. Work the forklifts. I think we should work the forklifts. We're going to load them. The ships. Somewhere I'll see two paper. What is the matter? Why? Poor lumber. This is so fun, isn't it? <laughs> it's really fun. <laughs> yeah. How weird it is that we have machines to help us do things like this and how easy it is to s understand how people can get that yeah Okay, so I think we're supposed to be about <laughs> that went through the wall. Makes lots of sense. <laughs> the food. <laughs> what happened? Is it birth two or birth one?
Wasn't there a teacher with that name? Something Burger? I really didn't like her name. I hated the sound of her. <laughs> I hated the sound of her name. <laughs> because I just didn't want to think about food while I thought of this person. She was a teacher. Thompson. What is it going to take for us to get the stupid promotion? <laughs> it might take a few days. And if that's the case, that says R Corp on that door above. Or number eight, screen eight, screen eight. Oh my god. <laughs> Sir, what is happening? <laughs> Congratulations, Stephen Brad Tech. Yeah. Screen four, somebody came from, mm, they'll probably be going to B, they're passing B, they're screen A, mm, I'm telling you. Something in there. What the fuck happened? <laughs> <laughs> laugh! 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 Wow. <laughs> I just drooled on my ankle. How does the song go? That messy joke? Oh. 
Oh, great. Failed to report vandalism? Wait, no. Ooh, they really don't want to give us a promotion. Yeah. Alright, are you guys getting tired of this? Do you really want me to do this on my own? I'm fine with that. Yes, please. Okay, and so... Let me just... Exit here. Are you staying here? It's going a little bit faster. <laughs> For some reason, I don't know why. It right, it has nothing to do with the computer, it has all to do with Russell. Just choosing when things work. What now? <laughs> or would you guys like me to keep playing Sneaky Sasquatch? I don't mind playing, I don't mind moving on to a different game. However, that is what I would want to avoid, is if he starts to pile up the amount of games that I would need to complete on my own, the games that I would need to Not complete, but make progress in them on my own. Make progress in games on my own so that you guys don't have to sit around for the boring stuff. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? So... Right, so I don't mind, I don't mind at all trying to work towards the promotion, okay? And then, once we have the promotion, we can get the security card, right? And we can find all the secret caches and do all sorts of cool stuff, right? We can get the promotion for the detective job, who Fix the lake thing, okay? Yeah, right, you guys don't want to sit around for that. So now, right, so this is what worries me, is that he'll start a new game, okay? I'm worried that we'll start a new game and then the same thing will happen. Like what is happening now with Sneaky Sasquatch. With Sneaky Sasquatch, we have all of these tasks that need to be completed before we can go to the fun stuff and well I would not want that to happen with another game do you see what I'm saying but I I think that if we play a game that isn't like sneaky Sasquatch where there are these tasks that need to be completed before if it's more of like an exploration game I think we'll do better. So let's try a game like that. And so I've already downloaded a few and installed some. Um, what's this one? Where's that one game I installed? <coughs> oh, there you are. I hope that this one will be fun. Let me just start it for a moment and see. <sighs> Oops. Okay. 
think I'm going to. I think I'm going to, yeah. I mean, what is it? Some of you were thinking, we really don't want to do this. I think I'm agreeing with you. But I'm not sure. I, I really just want to find ways to spend money. <laughs> you know? Okay, so it's telling me to, it's telling me to scroll. I don't know what I just did here. Oh, so scroll is zoom. Okay, and then several ways. And so you just click wherever you want him to travel to. Okay. And so I guess this is zoom out. There's something in the sky. Neat. So you click out of there. What's this lever do? Oh, it brings you to another view. So. Next one. Uh -oh. Anything else? No, oh, I don't see anything. And probably, oh, we don't know. Turn it up. Uh, he's not going up there. No. <laughs> Neat. And so, what kind of games do you guys play with Felix and Mark? So, that game that they were playing called We Happy Few? <laughs> Do you guys play games like that sometimes? You guys play mostly horror games, huh? Especially with Mark. Oh my god, that's crazy. It's really insane. So what are we doing here? We're giving him the little horn. What's happening? Travel this way. Uh. 
There's a little pond. Oh, this is so cool. So there's some sort of sound or something coming from that creature. <laughs> okay. oh. I'm really glad that you guys are playing really creative games like this for the horror games <laughs> I don't really like the scary ones Me, he needs to hop over to this rock. Let's go that one. Let's go this way. <laughs> oh, neat. What's this? Oh, let's go talk to this guy. What did he say? He's explaining something. You don't want to go in there? Oh. Maybe not. I don't know how to get up there to the top. <laughs> what is the matter, the kids? So, one of my favorite genres of video games, movies... Hmm, that's a good question. Books too? Sometimes books. I really love fantasy. Fantasy is one of the best genres, in my opinion, when things are like really weird and natural. I'm going to explain that thing to him again. <laughs> Let's see if we can go in there. I don't think we can. Is there a way down here? That is. What was that? Who knows? 
Let's try the other one. I think he's using it. It's so weird. I don't know how to get over there. Let's see. I wonder if he can hop. We have to go this way, don't we? Some of them are too far. We're not tall and fast like that gazelle. <laughs> I don't think it matters how much you praise. <laughs> he said what? He said manner. Well, we're not going to find anything over here, I think. <laughs> I don't know what that is. It's a wrench. <sighs> Let's go the other way. Let's see if he could go over here. No, he can't. So, we could either climb down this mountain, or we could go across. Oh, gosh. Let's, let's see what this thing does first. Right, but the problem is, is if he were to hop on top of that. Oh, so you could even scroll from side to side that way. Okay, well, let's go over here and let's go down here. Can you hop on that thing? No, but you can tap it. You're supposed to go across, I think. But how is he going to get up there? Where should he go? Where are you going? <laughs> Okay, so let's see if we can, no, you have to pull each lever, and no, it brings it all the way down. Oh. 
There's no way to get on top of there. Uh, this is really frustrating. Okay, so he went around. He can't walk down to the bottom? I'm really confused about what to do here. <laughs> I was expecting this. Yeah. Oh. I don't want to know if that's true. I don't want to know if he... Okay, so let's try some... Yeah. So, one lever. Oops. Yeah, okay. Okay. Now... Going over here. <sighs> I'm really stumped. Anybody have any ideas? It doesn't matter even if he hops onto that whatever that thing is called. Because if he does, if even if he gets to even if he gets to it, he can't uh He can't pull the lever and push the button for himself. So, okay. Let's go back to that place that looks like his home. Maybe let's talk to the dog. We got a bone. I'm very tired. Can you go in there? No. We're stuck. Yeah, let's look around his house. What is he doing? He's ringing. <laughs> he's pulling up the bathtub. Okay. <laughs> Why is this thing shining? I don't know. All right, so we have to find these things. Oh my god. Well, we have to do that together. Yeah. Let's go back over here and see if we can try to interact with this thing over here. If there's anything.
Can you guys see me? <laughs> Sorry. I, yeah. <laughs> you just saw the top of my head. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. Let's go back in his house. Maybe we'll find something in his house. So he said he needed a few things. He's going to bring a table to him. I don't know how that's a table, but okay. We'll see. I'm getting really tired. We got to sleep? Oh, what is this? Oh, neat, a book. That shows you pictures. I'm getting really tired. Oh my gosh, what is all this? I'm falling asleep. Oh my god, I'm falling asleep. Why am I falling asleep? It's a book. It looks like ex it's explaining a story of something. It's kind of hard to understand. So we put this robot together and then we found something in it. The robot fought the squid. They flew to the moon. Or it's something that has to happen. So where's the robot is still on the moon? What's this? There must be some sort of combination. We're not going to figure it out. We could try. There we go. 
Oh, is there another one? Neat. Fuck's house. What are we asking for? Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Oh, I am falling asleep. It's not just me, is it? Everybody else is getting really tired. It's because we're enjoying this too much. And well, I think we should just take a break and come back to this when we're not feeling so exhausted. What do you guys think? I'm okay with that. <sighs> we're trying <laughs> we're trying to make the sun work. <sighs> We have this on. There we go. Yeah, that's better. Ha. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> the music is really cool, huh? So, when, when I was showing you guys around in this new game, do you guys think of, um, do you guys think of the game, um, See if I can exit first. Do you think of the game or the movie? I'm sorry, the movie. What is it called again? Dark Crystal. Do you guys remember the Dark Crystal? Is it? it looks like a painting out there. Yeah, it's because the lighting is just really weird. It looks like it's l it's just dark and gray outside and foggy. Yeah, I don't know why the camera does that. It looks like it's fake. <laughs> I know. It looks like someone took a picture and then <laughs> stuck it at the window. So, do you guys think of The Dark Crystal? Do you know that is um, a Jim Henson film? So Jim Henson, he's made, uh, he made The Muppets. Okay, you might be old enough to know The Muppets. And then he made, oh gosh. What other movie? There's another one. Jim Henson's The Muppets. Well, anyway, it's a fantasy. Oh, right, right, right. Labyrinth. He made the movie Labyrinth with uh, Sarah and K the Goblin King, right? So I would 
categorize these movies as fantasy. Now, there's another one. I don't think it's Jim Henson. It's called The Never Ending Story. Are you guys familiar with that movie? It's really old. Your parents probably know about it. Um, I don't know if... Uh, I don't know if... That's a Jim Henson movie, too. I don't think it is. So, um... 1984. It might be. It's not. It's a never-ending story. Oh, it was originally a novel. Published in 83. Oh, no, no, no. In 79, and the English translation was in 83. So it's a German story. Wow. Whoops. He's starting it again. <sighs> He's starting it again. So... Just thinking about how my dad used to make music with John Paul and they were talking about how they heard one of their songs on the Final Fantasy game. <laughs> and I'm thinking about how we're playing, right, we're trying to come up with all of these activities that encourage Russell to spend money, because that's the idea, right? Until our comfort improves. That's the idea. And fantasy is one of my favorite genres for video games and movies. Yes, so, right, so... I love the Harry Potter movies, right? You guys are very aware of that. Harry Potter, in my opinion, is considered fantasy. Yeah. Right, now, there are categories of film and books. There's fiction and then there's nonfiction. Those are categories of books, whether or not it's something that's realistic like you know like if it's based on something that's real life or fiction which is just based on creativity and making up something that's not real right so fantasy fantasy stories right like the lord of the rings right <laughs> what is the matter some of you really love these some of you really love these movies. Good. I'm very excited. Yes. It's really important to have stories like this to help you understand how you feel about characters and help you understand your values. And there are all sorts of really cool ways to, <clears throat> to think about the way you feel about your feelings and your values. Right? So, right. All these really cool characters... Right, like Gollum and the Hobbits and and the uh, what's his name? Gandalf the Grey. Gandalf the Grey. Gandalf the Grey is my favorite character <laughs> from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Gandalf the Grey is my favorite character from Lord of the Rings.
so. <sighs> Hopefully you guys are developing your, your taste in art and, and things that you enjoy looking at and listening to because because you enjoy it yeah yes hopefully and so so i didn't tell you about shirley shirley used to go to these um these film festivals where they had um it was like animation film festivals and oh my gosh claymation is another one of my favorite uh styles of animation and she used to bring back these really cool short films of claymation. They were really cool. Some of them were really weird. And I don't know what happened to them. <laughs> They're gone now. They're somewhere. Who knows where they are. And so the, a lot of them really f were fantasy. Right. Claymation is like, um, claymation is like the nightmare before Christmas. Yes. That's claymation. What's another one? Oh gosh, I don't know if James and the Giant Peaches. I don't think so. It might be. Claymation. So, there's somebody here from Amazon. I'm surprised he hasn't asked me to go get them all. So, um... And so there, there is fantasy horror, yes, but I, I really don't like the idea of mixing fantasy and horror together. There is like dark fantasy that's different from fantasy horror games. I think a lot of horror is just fantasy overall. Many times, like the types of horror games that you guys are familiar with, yeah, it's like scary, but like you know sort of like really creative and made up right like right there was the shrek and the onion and, <laughs> and then there was <laughs> <coughs> there was shrek and the onions those types of games <laughs> The Shrek video. <laughs> yeah. The Shrek video, what is it called? Shrek is love, Shrek is life. Yeah, we didn't. <laughs> it's I I don't really know. Shrek is love, Shrek is life. That really belongs in the uh That really belongs. <laughs> that really belongs. <laughs> that really belongs on that playlist. I mean, you you guys don't need to. Yeah, you guys already know how to get there. You guys know how to find it. Shrek is love. Shrek is life. So. <laughs> Right, so there's like the the Shrek onion game, and oh, yeah, a lot of those are fantasy, but it's it's fantasy horror. It's not the same as dark fantasy. Dark fantasy, in my opinion, is like a lot of Tim Burton movies, right? So like, yeah, like Nightmare Before Christmas. That's dark fantasy. <clears throat> and what's another? Let's see. I don't remember. What is the matter? My teeth need to be brushed? No. They're really gross. So, uh, oh, Alice in Wonderland. That's fantasy. Tim Burton's version is definitely dark. I mean, I think the novel itself and the movie, the, the Disney one is even dark in a weird way. <laughs> I 
but uh, Tim Burton's film, he sort of made you see that it was dark fantasy, whereas the the original movie wouldn't really you wouldn't really think so unless somebody turned it into one. Russell. Sharon, an easy toggle. An easy toggle, Sharon. Sharon. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, So yeah, dark fantasy is not horror. Yeek. Yeah, there's a difference between horror fantasy and then, yeah. And then there are horror games that are really terrible. So anyway, <clears throat> I'm glad that you guys are developing your your preferences and your your interests. Yeah. You know. You were figuring out what it is that you like. You know. Video games in my opinion are absolutely wonderful. They're a great way to waste time. A really good way to waste time. You can get just absorbed into a world that is just your own. If it's single player, of course. Yeah. And you don't have to think about anything else but your video game. <laughs> you know. <clears throat> and then, well, of course, yeah, I love one of my favorite genres is first person shooters. I love first person shooters. First person shooters are my favorite. Well, we're not doing that today or ever in a very long time, ever in a very long time. <laughs> we're not doing that in a very, very long time. <clears throat> yeah. It's only because I, I don't have the equipment to play Counter-Strike. It's just not a good idea, I think, to play any violent video games with you guys. Right now, I think we should just stick to, you know, stuff like this. For now. It's just too distressing, I think, to, to play games that are really... That are that stimulating. You know, like, oh, shoot this, I shoot that. It's just too much. No. That is really just for a small crowd or just one person. Yeah. Not for everybody. It's just not a good idea. It's fun. <laughs> it's fun. Definitely not Counter-Strike. Something like Halo, I think, would be okay. I think Halo would be all right. But Halo, I believe, is only available on Xbox. this does somebody want to shut this i want to leave it open i like the light from the outside if that's okay <sighs> so anyway I'm really looking forward to my appointment with my therapist because I'm looking forward to seeing what he was go what he's going to say when he sees me with makeup on. Right, because when I stare at my face, I'm, all I'm going to remember is that I was working today. <laughs> I'm only going to remember, I mean, he's staring at my face and I'm like, he's like, so what did you do today? And I'm like, well, you know exactly what I did today. You know? <laughs> 
rather than trying to make me feel like right i have no makeup on and i'm in my like tie-dye shirt just lounging around my house i was on youtube i tell them that yeah it's crazy <laughs> i tell them i have I, everybody knows i have a youtube channel it's really insane I don't really think it's worth making anybody suffer anymore. We've done enough of that. And frankly, I don't want to deal with it. I'm too tired. I just really am eager that for things to get better. Yeah. <laughs> so let's just try to get this going. Get everybody better than before. Yeah. So, oh, it's four o'clock. <coughs> so you guys like all the cool games. I'll try to find more. Let's try to focus on one game or two, maybe three at a time. I'm definitely not willing to look for... I'm definitely not willing to start another one right now. Yeah, so let's finish between Sasquatch, Sneaky Sasquatch, and <coughs> this, this one. Oh, you know. Making sure that you heard me. Did you hear me? Just checking. Yeah. So, Sneaky Sasquatch or this game? We're not going to find one more. We're going to make sure that one works and is completed. And then <laughs> the other, we finish like homework, huh? Tyler, <laughs> who the fuck is that? It's not Japanese. So, <clears throat> that's the two games that we have now. I'll just give that one a breathe. Yeah, just get some air from that one. <laughs> Take a break, breathe, come back to it when we think it's ready. <laughs> Take a breathe, breath, breath, breathe, dragon. <gasps> Right? <laughs> Fire. <laughs> Let's see how long it takes for one of these games to start cooperating. Yeah. So. <laughs> what do you guys want to do? What do you guys want to What do you guys want to talk about now? What would you guys like to do? There's really not a whole lot to do. No, but we really should try to get we should really try to find activities to keep us busy and to get us interested in doing things anything so right now we've found video games right
We could do that. I could talk about video games. I could talk about video games that I am familiar with, all the video games that I grew up with. I could do that. You guys are really young, huh? And some of you, some of you are not even really that familiar with video games, right? Some of you aren't. And so, so yeah, we could, we could do that. We could talk about video games. That's, that's absolutely, that's cool. We could do that. Yeah. What does it matter? What does it matter? Okay. I'm going to try to make my hair look nice. I'm going to try. Yeah, I mean, I should at least try to look presentable. It's diff difficult to make my hair look nice when I don't really have much of it. I'll try to wear it in a high ponytail so that I look like a girl. Huh. Yeah. The whole, you know, hair down thing isn't really working out well. I might have to just split it in the center. I just look like Princess Jasmine when she's a prisoner of Jafar. Ah. Oh. <laughs> but fat Prince, do you feel fat? Do you have a weight issue? Oh, now I'm going to start looking like, looking like Betty Boop because of this. <laughs> Her head looks like a butt. Betty Boop. Her head looks like an ass. Oh, here we go. Uh, now, that's not too bad. That's not terrible. I just look, you know, I should probably take off my sweater. Yeah. <laughs> boys. Boys, boys, boys. Yeah. <clears throat> Whoa, it's very shiny. Yeah, my hair is very shiny. Oh my god, <laughs> the lemon juice. Could split it side split. That's how that works. Too. Sure. <laughs> that doesn't really work well right now, in my opinion, because of the length. That's okay. It's still no. I I still don't have very much hair. No, my hair is very fine and thin. I don't have thick hair because. because I'm Alice. She's smart. Too smart for the hair. <laughs> <laughs> that means lots of things, huh? <laughs> Learn that from my dad. Something. Is it that? 
そうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそう It's not a mystery. It's really hard. It's really impossible for me to hide my feelings, isn't it? They want to say, Lydia, what feelings? Because <laughs> you seem like you seem like you try to pretend like you don't have any. I don't think that's why. I think it's because I'm uncomfortable. You know, this is actually not a bad idea, maybe. To be so open about my feelings from this distance, because then maybe that way. Right, it'll, it'll be like a magnet. And <laughs> In what way? It'll, you know, get him. It'll it'll encourage him to do the things that he's supposed to do. Right, because the pizza face guy, I think he's really incapable. Right, and he says pimples, 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 pimples. <laughs> So, I think it's, I think it's really difficult for me to uh, get used to this, knowing that, right, that, that love is work. And well, it always was, but now it's not just love being work you guys really really love me for whatever reasons you have i mean i am still getting used to so many of you who are so new to my world you're learning so many new things and a lot of these things that i love all of my interests are so new to you and I don't expect you to like them, but it's new for me to right embrace all of you as my little Lego people, <laughs> you know, <laughs> right? <laughs> it's a small world after all. <laughs> And, and of course it is difficult, it will be, realizing that I'm the only one here. It, it already is. It already is difficult to think about. It isn't quite yet, like I said, because I'm still so focused on, on making sure that, that we get everything done. You know, I, I can't waste time thinking about how sad I am and how sad I'm going to be. But do you guys hate that I treat this like it's just work? Probably. Well, it isn't. It isn't just work. It's 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 real. You know, it isn't a lie that I have to live with. Well, it sort of is. But it's not too bad of a lie. It's better than lots of other things. I'll be okay. Yeah. 
I'll be okay. I'll, I'll survive through it. Yeah. Yeah, I will survive through it. At least survival and living is the goal and is possible. <laughs> right? I don't have to, I don't have to worry about all of you not being safe. And that's very important to me. <sighs> so, do I make it seem too much like it is work? I think it's because I was just so used to life being work, you know? And well, <laughs> does it have anything to do with all the makeup on my face? No. The makeup on my face makes me, rem makes me remember that I'm a girl. I think sometimes I, when I don't have makeup on, I forget that I'm just one of you here, or I just feel like it. But when I put on makeup, I realize that I am distinguished from everyone else. <clears throat> that Right, that my genitals are different from all of yours, <laughs> right? It helps me remember that. And that's not the reason why, no. I don't feel prettier with makeup on. I, I feel more enhanced, like, right, my face is painted, but I don't really look different. I still feel the same. Yes. <laughs> Is that what you guys are worried about? Is... Um, no. It's, it's paint. It's like paint on my face and it looks cool and pretty, but my face is my face. Yes, I, I've always felt like that. That isn't true. And I think we know why. <sighs> it's, nature is really easy. Sometimes. Sometimes. Which is why it feels like work, right? You know? It's not that hard to understand. I mean, my God, you guys are already, everybody is familiar with the movie Election, right? With Reese Witherspoon. That's why love would just feel like work. And well, does it still? I think that I'm still uncomfortable. I think I'm still uncomfortable with being romantic with anybody. In what way? So right, where, where do I stop? I think I've gone as far as I needed to. But do I make it seem like such a chore? I think it feels like a chore because he is embarrassing and rude. Russell. That's why it feels like, that's why I'm tired. Yeah. I don't want, I don't want any of you feeling like I don't care about you. <clears throat> because it feels like work. <laughs> I think you guys are very aware that I am 
not really prepared for this emotionally. No. So, anyway. That's hand lotion until <laughs> whatever. I have to be reasonable. Yeah. But he's not even right. He isn't reasonable with himself. You know? Oh, he's impossible. <laughs> Sometimes. So, um, So, what do I need to say now? Do all of you feel better? Let me think if you would now. Maybe a little bit. Maybe. <laughs> I treat problems like they are tasks, right? Like, that's a problem. Yeah. Because my comfort is way too fucking important. <laughs> it is excruciatingly important. All right, so if there's something uncomfortable, I have to like <laughs> get that out of the way. No. You're not a problem anymore. <laughs> You're not a problem anymore. <laughs> as best as I can. As best as I can. So. <laughs> like slicing heads off zombies. Something like that. I don't ask that. <sighs> I hope you guys feel better. You probably do. Yeah. You probably do.
So for those of you who love sports, <laughs> for those of you who love sports, you guys are a little bit more of a mystery to me because because I don't know what of your interests are changing now. Oh my gosh, this camera is really insane. Look at, look at what it keeps doing. So, um, So, um, what if I look into the camera? If I look into the camera, well, well does it stop? You know what I want to see? I want to see what it looks like when I talk into the camera. Barely. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, I can't even it. <laughs> That's funny. This is awful. <laughs> my, my ghetto live stream. <laughs> yeah, but at least I can hunch over like this and be tired without looking like a slut. Huh. I'm just waiting for money to fall on my eyelashes. <laughs> huh, Russell. So anyway. <sighs> I don't. So for those of you who are really athletic, I, I'm i wondering if your interests have stayed the same or if you're interested in new things now. And I really hope that you're not bored, <laughs> you know. Hopefully enough of you are interested in these video games so that we can get him, you know, we can incentivize him to start, you know, spending money. Because I think that's, that's the idea here. And we don't want him to keep pretending like I'm stuck here without the baby and a new home, right? Somewhere for me to live with the baby. Yeah. We don't want him to keep pretending like, like he's not working. Because that's what he likes to do. He likes to keep pretending like he's not going to work, huh? That's his problem. And so we need to get him to to admit, to keep admitting that that he's gonna work. So it doesn't matter. Now what is it? I could play some sports games, so what games do you guys, what, what sort of games, what sort of sports do you guys like? I wish I knew what the most popular sport was. I think it might be football. It seems to me like it is football. American football in America. Soccer is probably the next popular sport. Probably the most popular globally. Would be my guess. And so we could try those. Certainly. Yeah. But the problem is, <laughs> the problem is learning how to play the game, which would be really, really, really funny and silly. 
Another thing I'm not really cool with <laughs> is the athletes being based on real people. He's going to get offensive, isn't he? Of course he is. Yes. He's going to be. He's going to be a fucking asshole. <laughs> He's going to be a rigger. <laughs> Troy. Okay, so... <laughs> Let's try to find, let's try to find a, uh, let's try to find a sports game. Now, like I said, I said I'm only okay with playing two games at a time. A third might be okay too. What is it? Okay, original, okay, original multiplayer. What is it? <sighs> Skate City. That's neat. Some of these things are really dangerous, guys. <laughs> it's amazing. The kind of shit you guys put yourselves through. Just because you're boys. There's an NBA game. We don't want to play basketball. I think you guys really like football, but I am very new to football. And I prob it probably will just turn into a uh, spiel. <laughs> I'm going to just complain the entire time about the crazy shit you put yourself through. So I just pass, I just pass a skateboarding, <laughs> I just pass a skateboarding game in. Island children. Island children. Are you really? Are you guys really like that? Like really like that? So when I think of Michael Spielman. And I think of sports. Why am I saying Michael Spielman? Because Spiel, do you know what a Spiel is? A Spiel is um, like a, an English word. It's like, it, I'm pretty certain it's English, but it's like a, it's, it's slang, it's Jewish slang. Or it's actually Yiddish or whatever that language is that they <laughs> started to make up in Europe. It might be. Like, right. Oh my god. Oh dear god. Right, schmooze, spiel. How is it going to affect our bottom line? <laughs> Joel Schweinbold. How is it going to affect our bottom line? <laughs> so, I've got a nice little food pot here, yeah. It's, it's still there. Yeah, my, my pregnancy belly. So, uh, all I'm going to do is just complain about how you guys put yourselves through hell if I play a sports game, aren't I? And it's just going to upset everybody, so let's just avoid that. 
a spiel. A spiel is like giving you a lecture or a lecture, lecture, a spiel. I just, <laughs> you do this and you do that and you do that. Ah, huh. Why are you doing this? <laughs> you should be doing this. You should be doing that. Nagging. Nag, nag, nag. You're doing this and this and you need to do this. I really don't do that a whole lot. I do it sometimes. I know that some things are unrealistic, but some things really need to be done. I realize that some things are unrealistic and it's really not nice to say things like that to people when they can't accomplish them. You know. Do I really sound like Patty? Patty the cat? Patty the cat. The white cat. Patty the white cat. Well, if I did, I'd look stupid. And so I don't think I'm that stupid. I think I'm smart enough to know what things I should yell at you for and what things I shouldn't. Most of everything I say, it's just too fucking late. Right? I realized that I was actually the problem. After 28 years. And well, I'm not going to yell or give you a spiel. I'll give you a, a lecture. I don't have to. But... Some things I think are worth listening to. Don't say say. Say worth listening. <sighs> I mean, we might as well, right? At least once. Well, it is never once. It's always like the first time we didn't finish, the second time we're almost done, the third time we're about to be, the fourth time. He wants to talk about it one more time, and then the fifth, well, it's like he's learning to fucking count. <laughs> because he hates that I don't think I look like Sarah Silverman. We were talking about video games, right? <laughs> One of my indulgences that I don't really have time for. Ever. I don't play video games, not really. I have apps that are like brain exercises. That's not video games. But it's the closest I get to video games. And I was talking about how I'm trying to find things that you guys are going to be interested in and I really worry that you're bored. I really don't want you to be. I think that was really, that was really, yeah. Convenient for all of us.
Ween. <laughs> ween, ween, ween. Yeah, ween, 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 ween. So you can see my glitter. There you go. This guy is a fucking idiot. This guy who's supposed to know everything. He's supposed to know everything. That's his problem. He he does, but he just can't admit it and he can't be honest about it. That's what makes him so fucking stupid. He has to always lie. Because why? <laughs> He lies about everything, even though he knows everything. <laughs> it's crazy. Mm -hmm. Look at my glitter. Isn't it pretty? <laughs> Tinkerbell's overrated. Dumb weird. Yeah. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Maybe not. I probably don't know what I'm talking about. Maybe. It is like a, for, a form of numbing, I think, yes. Like, uh, like not wanting to see reality. It's like a drug, yeah. Like you want to pretend like, you know, you don't want to be real about the world. Everything has to be weird. Is that true? Anyway, oh, it's depressing. <sighs> Alright, so we're done with video games for the day. At least I know why. You know, the real why. Here, look at look at this bed. <laughs> right? Yeah. Look at where I am. video yes for the day. I don't really know what else to talk about. <laughs> what is it? Jenny Sims. 
is young Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> Sorry, I just got really deep in thought there for a moment. So, like I said, I'd like to do things that encourages him to spend money, right? And things that we need, right? Things that are reasonable, things that we need. So we need to keep ourselves busy. I don't want you guys sitting around being bored all day. We cannot do that anymore. Now, right. There are probably times that you guys are tired of watching. You don't have to watch all day. I'm just here. I'm available so that you guys can watch me as much as you need to. Okay? Yeah, so please do not feel obligated to be here all day. If you guys want to go out and, you know, enjoy the nice weather or you want to... You can certainly... You don't have to... Especially after Alex. Whenever that was. Yeah. Especially after that. So there are a lot less things to worry about now. But if you want to keep up moment to moment about the latest news, whatever it is. I mean, we're now just waiting for... <laughs> we're now just waiting for our comfort to improve. After that, after that with Alex, yeah. So I think that you guys should really do your best to... To make yourselves comfortable. Yeah? <laughs> Whatever that means. Whatever you've got to do. <sighs> but one thing's for sure. One thing is certain with this boy is that we cannot schedule anything. Right? That we cannot time things. Not really. Unless I have an appointment somewhere here with somebody. Right, so yeah, my appointment with my therapist is at six. Things like that I can schedule, but everything else is just gonna be, all right, video games, okay, Taco Bell, <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, so. All right. It looks like I'm in Nick Watson's room. Yeah, it does. Except that's not a textbook. It's a book of poems from Barnes and Noble. Right, Todd? <laughs> the Ballad of Ricky Bobby. Talladega Nights. The Ballad. <laughs> a Burlard. A Burlard. A Burlard. A Burlard. So, this appointment is coming up pretty soon, 6 o'clock, and so when, I, when I'm done with that appointment, I'm going to go wash the dishes, especially if he's home. Okay. Yeah. Let's see if he even shows up. Oh, it's very annoying. Yeah. It's because he knows I don't care about moving back. To the house. 
because he's such a pain in the fucking ass. And he does shit that I think he's not supposed to do. So, right, so if, yeah. So, right, at first we all thought that, at first I said that I feel like I'm supposed to live here so that I am forced to sharing a bathroom with him. And well, now the water doesn't work. It's just always cold. I'm just really looking forward to summer. And right, I mean, all of a sudden it's summer and now I don't want to be in the living room anymore. It's because it's not bright out there. Right, because there's no sun. It's like, right, it's always dark and gray because it's winter. But remember during the summertime, I kept wanting to go out there. I'm not looking forward to that again. No, not really. Because the fan was so fucking loud. Do you remember that? <laughs> the fan was loud. And it was really hot in here. Yeah. So. That might be the case. When it gets warmer out, I might spend more time outside. Yeah, probably. So, money, yeah, and yeah, right, I said that I thought I was supposed to stay here just to see how well he improves as a roommate. What is it? I'm Vinny from <laughs> the Jersey Shore. You're no fucking kidding. <laughs> and then I'm right, I'm being haunted by Scarlett Johansson's ugly ghost. <laughs> 24 karat magic in the air. What is that? <laughs> Are you riding on a horse? <laughs> Is it a black football player? <laughs> it's actually a Hawaiian warrior <laughs> named Jerry. <laughs> I, uh, well, everybody knows, Lydia, you are really in a bad mood. Yeah, I know. I, <laughs> I, I wish I wasn't. I would like to be happier. <laughs> but that is just not possible right now. He is awful. You know, right? I've got to complain about the ghost. I've got to complain about all sorts of shit that pisses me off. <laughs> you're going to have to hear it. I don't know. <laughs> you're here. You're going to have to hear it. funny you know I, I do my best I do my best to keep things entertaining while you have to hear how fucking miserable I am 
I try. <laughs> Isn't that what comedy is for? Sometimes. this sweater makes me look black <laughs> so anyway, where where is that? Uh, where did it go? So I said that I was going to talk to you guys about video games. We can do that eventually. Here, let me just um, let me just mark that down. What else? New games. Um, video games that I grew up with. Yeah. I like spelling it both ways with and without the space. Yeah. I don't think it really matters. Not in my opinion. I think that's what makes me a nerd. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think she hates you. <clears throat> I don't know why he wants to talk about black people and food. Do we have to? Oh, I really don't want to talk about... I really don't want to talk about... No, there's no reason to talk about... There's no reason to talk about why... Uh, Blake Griffin... He wants to say Blake Lively. <laughs> yeah, that boy... See? He wants to say she? Yeah. Yeah, she? Yes, I see. You look like a good kid. He's probably a very nice boy. Feel shrews. Oh. I'm gonna be sick. Think about my grandma. Oh my god. I mean, how do they? So, am I like, from their view, non-existent? Right, so what was her name? The Brazilian girl who was dating Will? So, right, Panda's husband, now. Her Facebook name is non-existent. I am sort of like a not typical creation, yeah, of people. <laughs> no, I mean, you said, some of you think, Lydia, you're really stupid. How often do you meet people like you? Oh, sometimes. But not exactly. I'm going to get rid of this camera. Are you guys okay with that? Is that okay? I'm shutting it off. It's fucking terrible. Oh. <laughs> Look it. Look at that. Are you bitter? 
Alright. You want to say bitcher. Are you bitcher? You are bitcher. I'm bitch, you're bitcher. <laughs> I am bitch, you are bitcher. Oh dear God. We don't have to talk about that. I don't want to talk about things that I don't understand. That there are answers for. Do you see what I'm saying? Right. I don't want to talk about things that I don't understand that there are answers for that somebody can answer for me one day. There's no use. There's no use in wasting time thinking about things that I that I will not figure out. <laughs> That's really dumb. We can talk about things that are worth our time. And well, it, it is worth mentioning, I think, to some of you that I'm very heartbroken that a lot of you guys are totally unaware of predators. You know? I mean, right, okay, so Blake, if you were my son, I would not want you anywhere near a girl who looks cool to get your attention. It's one thing to be cool for yourself because it makes you happy, but it should be for yourself. And if it's out of convenience and if it conveniently pleases another person, that is what life should be like. But if somebody is using cool or attractive things as a weapon, that's a problem. That means a person is a predator. And they don't care about your feelings. <laughs> they don't care about your feelings and that's frightening. And I, it doesn't matter. Now that's, that's right. That is a little bit more straightforward and I see that in the real world, right? So there's Nicole, Nixie Pixie, Nicole, what's her name? Nixie Pixie. The, the Filipino girl with all the pictures and shit. She's crazy. <laughs> but, you know, she's, she is human, even though she doesn't act like it. And she wants to be treated like she's human. That's what makes it difficult for me. She knows she's inhuman. She's very aware. A lot of these people know. And when, well, right. Bubbles. <laughs> Bubbles. And so that is something that's a little bit more straightforward that we can observe in the real world that doesn't really take a genius or a scientist to know, right? I think some of you, either you don't care, and is that okay? Are you philosophers? <laughs> or are you scientists? That's going to be my question. I don't need to answer whether or not it is okay. So what were we talking about? <clears throat> we were coming up with subjects to discuss to keep ourselves busy. Because I don't want to just sit here and, you know, be bored with everybody all day. No, that's not okay. For some reason he wanted to talk about black people and food. Does anybody remember why? <laughs> I think we did already. Right, but see, here's a, here's a perfect example. 
of how we talk about something once. <laughs> ready? We talk about something once. What am I doing the fucking curtain or am I getting ready to count and then fucking bitch smack you? Bitch smack you with the back of my fucking hand. <laughs> I'm pointing at the red curtain, right? I'm pointing at the red curtain. <laughs> I'm pointing at the red curtain. We talked about this once. <laughs> and it's a year with Sully. <laughs> <clears throat> so we talked about black people and food already right he wants to talk about it again You guys piss me off. Yeah, what does it matter? You guys want me to yell at you for... I probably should. I mean, you want to. You want me to yell at you because... Because <sighs> I'm your mom that watches A Night at the Apollo? <laughs> Is that why? I probably should yell at you. You guys are, <laughs> you guys make really bad decisions. And whether it's because you feel like you don't have a choice or you don't care and it's out of just reckless behavior just on your emotional health. You know, it's just not good for you. It's expensive. <clears throat> I mean, I, I, I understand that for many of you, you're limited to choices, right? Like black men, if, you, if it were up to you, you'd marry any white lady you could. I understand that. Are they seemingly more emotionally stable than black women? Actually, <laughs> actually, that's what we believe. Seemingly, that's the key word here. It's the behavior that is important. What goes on up here is it, it, we are ignorant of, right? Okay. But the way people behave, right? The way that people behave is really important. <laughs> right, so stealing, stealing what? Well, stealing what is important? <laughs> A lot of people steal because they need things. It's kind of important to have things that you need. But stealing men for what? Because you need things? That happens too. And well, in that case, in that case, I think it's a little bit better. Well, when you just take somebody away just because it, you know, it pleases you to hurt people, that's why, you know, or do anything. Right? They torture you, torture your emotions. Oh my god. And well, some of you do that too, or want to. Why? It's because other people do, or you just do that? Don't say naturally. <clears throat> uh, 
I really don't want to give this spiel. Not really. <coughs> Not really. I really don't want to yell at you guys for this. Do it because you don't care or you don't see it. I mean, I feel like you guys could make a wiser choice, which is just be alone. Rather than, you know, I don't think you guys are capable of that either, huh? You aren't capable? I think you'd, you'd prefer to be with somebody and you just risk it. You just deal with the... You prefer to, given your options, you probably prefer to just suffer the anxiety because you'd rather not be alone. And, well, I don't think that is wise at all. If that is true, if that is true, that's not very wise. You know, another problem is that, well, everybody else is in a relationship, so you look like you should be, too. That is a social... Why am I thinking about that right now? Right now, I just thought of the movie Envy with Rachel Wise and Ben Stiller. Uh-huh. That is certainly not true. You're probably better off alone. But people are not books. Isn't that right, Joshua? <sighs> That's another problem, huh? Everybody is in a relationship, so you look like you should be too. And then so we have, right, we have to, oh. We have to do all this stupid shit because everybody else is. That's that's not true. Sometimes it is. Right? Melinda? Loma Linda? <laughs> Loma Linda. It's communism. The city of Loma is communist. <laughs> I don't want to yell at you. Not really. <clears throat> I don't think it's necessary. I think you guys have beaten yourselves up enough. You guys have beaten yourselves up enough. Something to consider, huh? I feel like black men are so easy to manipulate about... It is so easy to tell you that you're terrible. Why are you guys like that? You beat yourselves up easily like if somebody says you do this and you do it and you're like yeah i do <laughs> uh are you thinking <laughs> okay i don't really think i need to yell at you about anything i think you guys are really good at knowing i think you guys are really good at knowing what things you should be ashamed of. And well, maybe some things somebody needs to tell you, you like being hard on yourself. Spielman, as I'm Gloria, so 
So when I talk about black men, I mean African American men. I don't know about Jamaican men. You are probably very different from black men in America. So just say black men in America. That is very true about black men in America. They love being hard on themselves. Like, oh, yeah, man. Is that always true? No. <laughs> That's just true about many black men in America. When their mothers lecture them, you, you do this and you do that. It's so... Listen to me. Listen. There is nothing to hear. You are a fucking idiot. There is nothing valuable coming from your fucking mouth. You sound like Elizabeth Hasselbeck. Wow, all this time I've been dating a ham. <laughs> Listen to me. Listen to Ignacio. What does he say? Listen to me. My life... My life is... What? You gonna tell me about it? I was What? I know that I... I know that I have something like... But my life is good. Really good. in his head that's really what he's saying <laughs> the guy who's dating a ham it's actually Sarah Silverman Ned Schneebly <clears throat> teaching snot nosed children in their ABCs Do we need to talk about this right now? <laughs> Does anybody want to talk about this? Okay, and so look, guys. Let me be honest with you about something. I want to minimize the amount of lecturing that I do with you. I want you guys to think about the things that you feel like you should be ashamed of. Be realistic okay take as much time as you think you need to know what it is you should be ashamed of and well I said be realistic it's like a cheer be realistic be realistic right <laughs> not ballistic be realistic be realistic it's a cheer on the Celtics <laughs> okay So if you want to be ashamed of something, you want to be ashamed of something, don't be stupid about being ashamed of something. Know why. And that's not just for the black men here. It's for anybody. Okay. A lot of you are probably really hard on yourselves about lots of crazy shit. Be realistic. Be ashamed, but be realistic. Am I done? I hope so. <sighs> it doesn't help that I'm hungry. So anyway, we were talking about something. We were talking about how to keep ourselves busy, right? I said I could talk about video games that I grew up with. For some reason, he wanted to talk about black people and food.
talk about black people and food. I don't know if there's anything we can say. So I'll just put, <laughs> he really wants to, yeah. I mean, I'm okay. Anybody want me to, like, do something with this? Okay, so here. I'll turn it into a bow. Yeah. I wonder if this will fit. Maybe. What is the matter? Do we want to talk about black people and food? Oh, well, oh my God. Whole Foods people, we talk to you all the time. I don't know why he wants to talk about economics. He wanted to talk about the black market, cash jobs. I'm just so glad that shit is over. Yeah. 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 How much do you guys control? You probably don't really control a whole lot. You probably just watch. You just observe. And that's really all you need to do, huh? Because it's sort of like the problem takes care of itself. Right? Like people like right. People ob people objectively whole as a whole are just really, really self destructive. So what do you guys know about ants? Oh my god. Adam Ant. That's his name, Adam Ant. Adamant, Adamant. Wow. That is crazy. That's the only Adam Ant song that I like. Well, it's the only one I really know. White? Huh? Something. Oh, is it that? Are you trying to tell me something? Oh. Jess Martell? Jess Martell. Right, that's why she was talking to me about my job. She would not know something like that. That's why she was talking to me, Desiree. And Al Gore. Or because Adam Matt makes me think of Selena. Yeah, and this like really stupid Facebook post she put one time about Adam Ant. He, it, he tries to make me look stupid like him <laughs> all the time, huh, John Paul? He doesn't know how stupid my friends look. Friends? People I'm okay with trying to humanize. Okay with? It's a stupid cat is actually the fucking problem. 
but we're over that hill now and we're dealing with it. Oh, Adam and Ant. How much do you guys know about ants? <laughs> he's hard on himself, you bet. John Paul, the guy who thinks he looks like Brad Pitt because he's like a hundred kajillion bazillion years old. <laughs> You know he's yeah you know he's feeling all sorts of things he's gonna be realistic about it see John Paul he's probably really angry with himself still I know it's like he should have gotten over it a long time ago he's not <laughs> and I don't know when I will be <clears throat> I, I will I will one day yeah. I cannot possibly be angry with John Paul forever. No. <laughs> I can't. He is too sweet. He's just a little dumb. <laughs> so, Selena. Yeah, he tries to make me stupid. Oh, it's like... What is it? Lipids? Lipids. Lipids. Are they fat molecules? That's what lipids are. Fat molecules. Yeah. I don't remember where though. Like what type of fat molecule in the body. <laughs> I don't remember where. <laughs> That's what makes it funny. Yeah, because, uh because of Amy Aurelio. So I remember like, oh. I was I was like pinching my armpit fat. We were driving in Amy Aurelio's car and I was pinching my armpit fat and I was like I can feel the lipids. I don't know if it's <laughs> And so it's just stupid to say because I'm not sure if it is a fat molecule that is, you know, somewhere like over muscle tissue or if it's like you know fat anywhere and she laughed and was like haha lipids I'm like yeah that is funny huh Amy <laughs> <laughs> because we're not scientists a little bit of time. Ants. Was it something? Adam, right, and what's his name? Mike McGann. Rockabilly? Why is it called a rockabilly? Because of a goat? <laughs> Billy the goat? <laughs> right, he was talking about Adam and one day I don't remember when that was that was not too long ago he makes me sound stupid like those girls yeah he tries to it's very annoying that I don't know I like to be a DJ on my Facebook without playing music but now I'm allowed to be a DJ on Instagram and it's wonderful <laughs> I used to like just share a song here and there you know like hey listen to this 
this should make you happy. So I've shared Pet Shop Boys, It's Alright. Because the music plays forever. I shared the music video one day. You know, like, good, like, good feeling songs like that. I think I share sad songs. Like, I, like I'm the cricket. And when I'm sad, I play like this. <laughs> that is my DJ, my radio DJ on my Facebook. DJ Radio DJ <laughs> And this fucky mirror. Yeah. So do do crickets do crickets interact with ants like that? Maybe I think ants just or crickets just eat them. Ants. I mean it is a movie. I don't really think it shows insect behavior. Yeah, not really. I don't think that crickets interact with ants that way. But they might. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. They might take food. They might take things from ants after they've worked hard for it. Who knows? I'm sure there are all sorts of things that we can't see. <laughs> Did he tell some of you? All of, the, all of this is new to you, obviously. So did he explain what he can do? Well, right. You have to make sense out of what you think you know. Some things you believe, some things you don't, but right, it's always possibilities. We were talking about ants because they're, they, they are incredible. They're really, they, they are, they work like a community, right? They, they don't just, an ant cannot really survive on its own. It could, but ants are, they, they survive in large groups really well. Like, so an ant by itself, <laughs> an ant by itself is not going to survive as well as an ant in a large group of ants. So you ever heard of like ant farms or ant colonies, right? Okay. So what I want to know is what they know about ants other than that. <laughs> I want to know what they know. And oh my god, it's crazy. So we were talking about a bug's life, right? Yeah, I don't know if, I don't know how much insects interact with each other, like outside of their, would it be species? I think so. Yes. Outside of their species. Yeah, oh my god, I have no idea. Don't ask me. I don't study bugs. <laughs> I don't study bugs. No, I, I mean, I, I don't. Yeah, I mean, occasionally there's, you know, I learned this and here and there, but don't ask me anything. But ants, right? Okay, so we were talking about how people are very self-destructive destructive you know like we don't we're not really good at taking care of ourselves and I don't know how much these people know I don't know how much these people know 
they probably don't really have to do a whole lot. I was like, like, right, like I said, they just probably observe. Because I was thinking about what? <laughs> yeah. And the question is, do I want to say that out loud and let him blame me later? If it may not really be true. I mean, that's the thing. A lot of these things must have to be realistic in order for people to believe that it's real. Right, so he cannot create this world of a simulation, like a simulated world based on real life behavior and convince a group of people who are, have, must be brilliant, must know almost everything they need to know about the science of people. Michael, I hate how much you're just, like, this, can you just stop it for a minute? I'm hungry, can you just wait? <laughs> Why breathe, um, biscuits in pajama? <laughs> I'm just a little bit overwhelmed by you. You're just like, you're like, <gasps> You know that if you touch the screen, I am over here, right? I don't know why, I don't know what the purpose is of your existence, really. Not entirely. I think that there are some really good reasons. So I think that, okay, I think that talking to you really, really helps us understand ourselves. And, right, so I was just talking to Blake. Griffin, right? From what best, what team is he playing? I think it's the Celtics, right? And all those kids. Talking to you helps me talk to everybody. He really doesn't know that. <laughs> Is that why? Does it matter to people? I mean, I, I, am, I am almost certain that it is exactly what I said before. He didn't let me finish. What did he say? Oh, right. It was like he wanted to fart in the middle of a sentence. <laughs> I said that if you actually have this disability, right, it's like Batman. <laughs> so Batman, Batman, right, it's like, it's like Sean Murphy. He, he makes music protesting himself, even though... <laughs> okay. <laughs> he may not realize it. He may not understand that he is part of this problem. Or he knows and hates it. Right? So wait, we had a barbecue. Does he feel fat? That's probably why he does cocaine.
Okay. I, I think that is exactly Michael's circumstances. And, well, this Archie Bunker is my dad. Right, because Edith... Ugh, Edith looked like my grandmother. <laughs> you are really easy to annoy, aren't you? Yeah. What's the matter? So, <laughs> are you annoyed that I said that? <laughs> He's like, now he doesn't want to look at me anymore. Good. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. I don't like everybody's eyes on me. <laughs> I'm not used to people being... <laughs> I'm not used to people treating me like this. Like, I'm the most important thing here. Princess Puppy? <laughs> he understands. He understands and he probably feels really bad. Right, so, okay, I have to write this down. I'm very sorry. I need to write this down. What is the matter? There's a reason why he's here. I don't know why he does that. I don't know. It could be. Yes, I think that your role, one of your role, one of your roles here is to help us talk about ourselves. And when I say us talk about ourselves, I mean everybody. It could be that. Maybe it's that. He's so impossible, this boy. Things get interesting right before we have to do something, huh? He's so impossible to talk to Russell and to talk to somebody who is capable of being a little bit more together. Right, like Russell, he's on auto and his, oh, his brain can do what? Control our, control our discussions. And when there's an incentive, there's this one person who can listen, wants to, Because he's not the ship. <laughs> you know. The ship. We're on it. <laughs> I think it helps to talk to Michael. Yeah. I think that is true too. I think sometimes he likes to pretend like he's jealous of something. But I know he's... I know that he's lying. <laughs> Luckily. Luckily, you know, he's lying. So, okay, no. He feels bad for me. Yeah, because he knows that, uh, he knows that this is all very uncomfortable for me. So, if you were, in fact, working on all of this now, let me think about this. Why would it be different from them? Should I think about that right now, 15 minutes before this appointment? Why would it be different from them? Because they weren't looking for a solution. They already knew, well, just like Russell. Russell understood everything, just like them. They understood the science of people, they, they knew the solution, and so did Russell. There was a group that didn't, and we were throwing money at it. It was the reason. It was the one thing to help him 
respect himself. Why is that important, Michael? <laughs> it's getting a little bit more complicated now, I'm realizing. Now, we've got Google Keep. I've got a new label for these Google Keep notes. And I'm trying my best to simplify it because one, it doesn't help that this guy doesn't let me stay organized. But two, this is all very new to me. I, I right, I've never had to do this before. <laughs> so I, right, it's difficult to organize thoughts like this because I'm not familiar with it, right? But I am doing my best. So I think Michael's role here is to help us, is to help ourselves talk about ourselves. Yeah. So, right, so. Uh, so things I need to conclude on. A group of people that planned everything based on the science of people, yes. Just say hi hymens? Humans. What hymens? Why is it hymens? I mean I know what a hymen is, but why would it be <laughs> Because the letter Y is spelled that way sometimes? Right, instead of the like right, like it's the Japanese O. And everything based on the science of humans. <laughs> Just for, can you please ignore my face? I have shivers and it's not cute. <laughs> Why do I care? Right? <laughs> everything based on the science. Bloomberg and his team were planned to allow it's not that bad to allow Russell to respect himself and his needs, of course. It's the same thing. Okay. His needs, himself, his needs. It's the same thing. Yes. Needs versus wants and well. Yeah, he's stuck in needs versus wants, preferences. Needs versus wants. Important thing to remember. So, right, you, right, because the reason you exist the reason his group exists is because humans are self-destructive and Humans are self-destructive, and that's really all you had to do. You just had to sit back and watch. Like, look at how this, how they do this, and how people do this. <laughs> mm. 
look at how people do such and such and such and such. What do you think? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the whole <laughs> cost? Keep the bar low. Paul Resta used to say, keep the bar low. <laughs> oh my god. Right? Ready, Rise? <laughs> Girls got <gone> wild. <laughs> oh, it's just colors. Because I'm an Easter egg. <laughs> I see, and, and so like things like this, like I'm trying to have fun, <laughs> but I'm realizing I have to remind myself that things like you guys are really triggered by, you know. Well, can you be? You can't do anything. Like my dildo is the color of Barney. <laughs> you need to chill the fuck out. <laughs> what was I saying? I, was like, <laughs> I don't remember what it was. People are self destructive. <laughs> Fucking retarded. Idiocracy. <laughs> it's not a funny movie. It's terrifying. That's why people love watching it. Yeah. <sighs> what did I say? I don't remember about this. Flash, I was like, flashing. <laughs> colors, I know. <laughs> Alright, I gotta get out of here. I have an appointment. At six. He's back home, thankfully. Hopefully he doesn't leave. Alright, everybody. I don't remember what I said. I said, right, that's what they had to do. They just had to sit back and watch. Yeah, and watch people just oh, eating each other alive. It was a metaphor. All right, I gotta go. My appointment is in five minutes. I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs> Bye.